Good afternoon, greetings from Jerusalem, Jane. I'm sitting here wearing this really soft and warm jacket. Snow is falling all around me. <laughs> well, it did uh, for the past 24 hours, almost 25 centimeters of snow fell here in the Jewish capital. Absolutely extraordinary. I stepped outside briefly just yesterday when the snow started to come down, just making a few small videos and photos, just sharing with you saying, look at this, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Why am I excited? Because it doesn't happen every year that the Holy Land is being blessed with snow and especially not in this amount. It was a storm uh, in Cyprus, no, I'm sorry, in Turkey and Greece. And then uh, it moved on here to certain part of Israel. So it's absolutely extraordinary. Uh, buses are not running here in Jerusalem up until now. Schools were out. Many roads were closed. The people working for the municipality has been working overtime to put salt on the roads and try to clear the snow. So today when I woke up, it was beautiful, but it was raining. So today it has been raining on and off here in Jerusalem. Uh, but it's still beautiful. I, I saw people are out having fun. Uh, there was a dance party in one of the parks and children are out making snowmen and going into a snowball fight. So it's quite extraordinary. At the same time, it's a very special day. Today, January 27, is International Holocaust Memorial Day. This day was chosen by the United Nations because it was on this specific day that Auschwitz was liberated during the war. So on this day, there are many events taking place uh, all over the world, commem commemorating the Holocaust, uh, saying never again. So all of the years that I have been living in Israel, I have done, tried to the best of my ability to go to Yad Vashem, the Holocaust Museum here in Jerusalem on this specific day. And every year I have written, written about it, shared about uh, the people I met, my feelings, my tears, my impressions, uh, the horrors of the Holocaust, stories from people I came across. Um, you know, sometimes there's so many things you want to say, but it's so overwhelming that you can't really put it into words. So this day is very, very special. And did we learn from history? history? Well, a lot of people apparently didn't. I just saw that both in Italy and in America, Jewish children was literally verbally attacked, cursed, saying you should have died in the ovens. Um, you know, when I stand with Israel over the years and I have shared uh, what I do on my social media, I have also received numerous, numerous, numerous videos, disgusting photos from Muslims, from Arabs around the world who is cursing me, who is cursing Israel, saying Israel, uh, Hitler did a good job and we, the Muslims, are going to finish. That's what they're telling me. We are going to finish what Hitler started. So evil has the same root. Evil has the same father, but it comes with multiple, multiple and many faces. And what can you and I do? We are obligated today to stand with Israel for such a time as this, to come out against the lies, the BDS, the hate, the indictments, uh, the anti-Semitism, unfortunately, that is rising around the world. We know the history. We know that God gave this land to the Jewish people through Abraham and his descendant in an internal covenant. The Jewish people are not occupying the land of Israel. The Jewish people liberated the land that was occupied by foreign armies. So that's why the Jewish people are home in their God-given homelands. So that is what we need to speak up and say every day, every year, not just on January 27. It's so ridiculous to see how many world leaders are coming out today holding signs saying we remember never again but at the same time them and their governments are condemning Israel for Jewish people living in East Jerusalem and Jewish people living in Judea and Samaria especially the European Union are pouring 
hundreds of millions of dollars every year for the Palestinians to build illegally all over Judea and Samaria. But on this day, they are sitting with their little signs saying never again, but they are condemning the Jewish people for actually now being home, being safe, building in the lands that more than 6 million Jewish people never got the chance to come home and settle because they were eradicated during the Holocaust. So it's so easy. I mean, talk is cheap, but what are you doing today to stand with the Jewish people in their God-given homeland? They have every right to settle and live all over the lands that God gave to them. So as Jerusalem, Jane, I will always stand with Israel for facts, for truth, for history, for the Bible, for speaking up for the Jewish people who is home in the land that God gave to them. So today is a day where I'm sharing photos and videos of the snow because it's so extraordinary, but also sharing about International Holocaust Memorial Day. And what a week it is. Two earthquake quakes was felt in Israel this week. While today outside, snow all around me and in many places of Israel, there is and there never will be a place like the Holy Lands, the land of the Bible, God's lands, the Jewish homelands. May God bless Israel. May God bless all of our friends. And as Jerusalem Jane, I say never again, not on my watch. I will always, always stand with Israel. Bye.